Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on algebraic long division. In this video, we're going to look at how to divide a polynomial by another polynomial. So our first question we're going to look at is dividing x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6 by x plus 2. Now, whenever you're doing these questions, it's very important that you lay out your work very clearly. Um, usually I find that students that don't lay it out as clearly either don't have enough room to do the question or they sometimes make mistakes, even by simply misreading their own writing. So it's very important that you lay these out very clearly. So let's look at how we lay this out. So what we're dividing goes underneath the bus shelter. This polynomial goes underneath the bus shelter. So we've got our bus shelter. Or so we've got our x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6 beneath the bus shelter. And in front will be what we're dividing by the divisor, our x plus 2. So it'll go in front of the bus shelter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this long division. Now whenever we're doing this long division, um, there's quite a few steps to follow. Um, it's one of those questions that once you get the technique and you practice it a few times, there should be safe marks in exams because you're just sort of following the same steps and it's quite straightforward. And even though these questions have a quite a few steps, they're quite nice. I like them. Uh, to begin with, they can look a little bit daunting or a little bit confusing. So in this video, I've got three examples. This is the first one. Watch it through. Then watch the second example. And it should sort of hopefully sort of be a bit more straightforward. And the last example by then, it'd be easy for you. Okay, so we've got our x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6. And we're going to divide it by x plus 2. So our first step in this division is to look at this x cubed, and we're going to divide it by the first letter of the divisor, or the, or the first term of the divisor, this x. So x cubed divided by x, well, whenever we do x cubed divided by x, that's x squared, because x squared times x is x cubed. So we're going to put this x squared above. So what we get by dividing this first term, this x cubed by this x, goes above here, this x squared. Now we've got our x squared, what we're now going to do is we're going to multiply both terms of the divisor, the x and the 2, by the x squared, and we're going to write it beneath this polynomial. So x squared times x, well that's x cubed. Then we're going to do x squared times 2, and x squared times 2 will be plus 2x squared. Now we've done our multiplication, we're now going to subtract. So we're going to subtract the x cubed plus 2x squared away from the original polynomial. So show you're subtracting by drawing a line beneath, so like there and let's just subtract those from each other so x cubed take away x cubed that's zero six x squared take away two x squared that's going to be four x squared and then the 11 x plus uh, 11 x plus six we're not taking anything away from those so we're just going to write plus 11 x plus six now we're going to divide again so we're going to divide the four x squared this first term of what you get after you subtract by the first term of the divisor you're always dividing by this x or this first term of the divisor so four x squared divided by x whenever we do four x squared divided by x that's going to be four uh, x so we're going to write plus four x here now what we're going to do is after we've divided the four x squared and got uh, by x and got four x we're now going to multiply both terms of the divisor by four x so we're going to do four x times x and four x times two and we're going to write them beneath again so four x times x that's four x squared and four x times two well four x times two is eight x so plus eight x and again we're going to subtract so you sort of get to learn that the sort of the pattern kind of or the steps sort of repeat themselves so we're going to subtract so we're going to do four x squared take away four x squared and four x uh, squared take away four x squared is zero eleven x take away eight x well eleven x take away eight x is three x and then six take away zero is going to be six so we'll write plus six there now we've subtracted, we're going to divide again. So we're going to divide the 3x by the x. So 3x divided by x is 3. So we write plus 3 there. And now we've written the plus 3. Again, we're going to times. We're going to times the x plus 2 by what we've just written, this 3. So 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 2, well, 3 times 2 is 6. So we're going to write plus 6. And our last step is we're going to just subtract those again. So when we subtract those again, we're going to get that that's equal to 0 this time because actually I'm just going to move this up slightly because whenever you do 3x plus 6 take away 3x plus 6 that's 0 3x take away 3x is 0 and 6 take away 6 is 0 and that means we don't have a remainder and that means we've, we're done so whenever we divide x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6 by x plus 2 the answer would be x squared plus 4x plus 3 and that's it. So let's have a look at our next example. Our next example will be slightly, there's a few subtle differences, but it'd be quite useful to look at the technique again because that's quite a lot to obviously digest in just one question. Let's have a look at our next one. So our next question, we're going to divide 2x cubed, subtract 9x squared, 
plus 3x plus 4 by x minus 4. So again, we're going to lay it out carefully. So we're going to write the polynomial we're dividing under the bus shelter, and what we're dividing by the divisor in front. So we're going to write our x minus 4 in front. Okay, so let's have a look at doing this question now. So we're going to just move it up a bit so we've got a bit of room beneath it. And it's very important whenever you're doing these algebraic long division questions, you've got room beneath the, the bus shelter. Okay, our first step. So we're going to look at this 2x cubed, and we're going to divide it by x. So 2x cubed divided by x would be 2x squared. So let's write our 2x squared on the top above our bus shelter there, 2x squared. So that's our first step. 2x squared. Now we're going to multiply. We're going to multiply both terms of the divisor by 2x squared. So 2x squared times x would be 2x cubed. And 2x squared times minus 4, well, 2x squared times minus 4 would be minus 8x squared. Now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract. So again, do the line beneath to show you subtracting. Now be careful here, because whenever we do, well the first one's straightforward, 2x cubed subtract 2x cubed is 0. Now, we've got minus 9x squared and we're subtracting minus 8x squared. Now remember whenever you're minus and a minus or subtracting a negative, you add it on. So we've got minus 9x squared and we're minus and minus 8x squared. That means you're going to be adding on 8x squared to our minus 9x squared. If you're at minus 9 and you add 8, you're going to get to minus 1. So it's going to be minus x squared. Okay, so that's how we've done that subtraction. Obviously, we've got nothing here to subtract from the 3x and the 4, so we're just going to write plus 3x plus 4. And that's it, we've done our subtraction. So be very careful there whenever you're subtracting and it's, you know, you're subtracting negatives. Okay, so we've done our division, we've done our subtraction, now we're going to divide again. Or sorry, we've done our division, we've done our multiplication, and we've done our subtraction, so now let's divide again. So we're going to divide this minus x squared by our x. So minus x squared divided by x would be minus x so we're at our minus x above here and now we're going to multiply again so we multiply this x minus 4 by what we've just written this minus x so minus x times x would be minus x squared and minus x times minus 4 well negative times a negative is a positive so plus 4x and that's it so we're going to subtract again so again draw the line beneath and let's subtract so that would be minus x squared subtract minus x squared well that's going to be 0. 3x subtract 4x. Well, 3x subtract 4x would be minus x. And 4 take away nothing would be plus 4. And now we're going to divide. So we're going to divide our minus x by x. So minus x divided by x. So that's minus 1x divided by x would be minus 1. And we're going to multiply. So minus 1 times x is minus x. And minus 1 times minus 4 would be plus 4. And whenever we subtract there, we're going to get that 0. So our remainder is 0, so we're finished. So whenever you divide 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 3x plus 4 by x minus 4, the answer would be 2x squared minus x minus 1. That's it. Okay, we're now going to look at one last example. Now, this last example, again, I've made another subtle change just to make it a bit harder. But again, it's very useful to just see those steps again. So this time we're going to divide x cubed subtract 13x subtract 12 by x plus 3. Now, this question is a bit different to the previous ones because in all the previous ones, I've had x cubes, x squared, x's and numbers. Again, our next one, x cubes, x squared, x's and numbers. This time I've left out the x squared term. Now, whenever you write it under the bus shelter, you'll see here, whenever I write the polynomial dividing underneath the bus shelter, I tend to leave a space initially for what's missing. So I'm obviously I've got no x squareds here. And what I actually do is I actually write in plus zero x squareds. I do that as a bit of a placeholder, just to sort of make sure whenever I'm doing the question that I make sure that I remember that there's a, you know, the, there's x squared terms as well. And even though there's none in, the, in what we're dividing, it's just quite useful to put it there as part of your working out. And what we're dividing by the x plus three, well, the x plus 3 is just going to go in front there. Okay, let's have a go at doing this question now. So let's just start up here. Make sure you've given yourself plenty of room beneath, and let's get started. So our x cubed divided by x. Well, x cubed divided by x is x squared. So let's write our x squared above. And now let's multiply. So we're going to do x squared times x. Well, that's x cubed. And then x squared times 3. Well, that's 3x squared. And now you can see why I've put in that 0 
that 0x squared. I've put in that 0x squared because obviously whenever I've done the multiplication there was 3x squared and we're going to be subtracting so it's just nice to have them all in the same column. So and then obviously x, um, x squared times x is x cubed, x squared times 3 is plus 3x squared and that's it so we're now going to subtract. So now we've done, we've got our x cubed take away x cubed that's zero, and we've got min uh, we've got um, zero x squareds, and when we subtract three x squareds, well zero x squareds take away three x squareds would be minus three x squareds, and then minus thirteen x take away twelve subtract nothing would be minus thirteen x take away twelve. Now we've all got our minus three x squareds. We're going to divide that by x. So minus three x squared divided by x would be minus three x. Again, now we've got our minus 3x, we're going to multiply. So minus 3x times x would be minus 3x squared. And minus 3x times 3 would be minus 9x, because minus times a positive is a minus. Now we're going to subtract again. And when we do that, we get minus 3x squared take away minus 3x squared, well, that's going to be 0. Minus 13x minus minus 9x means we're going to add 9x on, so that's going to be minus 4x and then minus 12. And then we're gonna divide that by x, so minus 4x divided by x would be minus four. And then finally we multiply, so minus four, minus four times x, well minus four times x is minus four x, and minus four times three would be minus 12, which is great because we've got no, divide, uh, no remainder. So our answer, whenever we divide x, if we go back to the question, if we divide x cubed take away 13 x take away 12, and we divide that by x plus three, the answer would be x squared minus 3x minus 4. So if you have one, a question where you don't have a term, perhaps the x squared term or the x term, I recommend you put plus 0 and whatever it is in the, in your underneath your brush shelter just to help you out. So these questions, these algebraic long division questions, there's quite a few steps, but actually it's quite repetitive whenever you do the question. The most important thing is setting it out nice and clearly and just making sure that you um, don't make a mistake, really. <laughs> and that's it.